Good evening everyone. This is Michelle with Foxy Chick Designs and Magnolia Design Company with a, another fun DIY project for you tonight. Um, sorry I am running late. I really apologize. I really try to go on at 7 o'clock. But sometimes this week is a little crazy um, with car situation and hubby schedule so I hope you guys can forgive me for being late sorry I need to plug in my phone y'all uh, so how was everyone's Memorial Day hope it was a good one hope it was a safe one um, I was out of town for the weekend had a blast Got to spend the weekend with the bestie and her family and had so much fun. Just had a blast. All right, so I am just going to get my laptop set up so that I can see comments and then we are going to get started. Alrighty. So as you come in, if you will tell me where you're watching from. Alright, there we go. I think we are good to go. Let's see. Hey Sandy, welcome. Awesome. Oh, I'm glad her surgery went well. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. Oh, that makes me so excited. Mary, did you get your, um, your happy mail for me? Hey, Roxy, welcome. Oh, I stink. I'm like, I'm trying to do stuff and I can't, I can't make it happen. No. Okay, Mary, I'm not sure what is going on with that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and recreate it. Um, I have that same board and send it out to you. I'm not quite sure why it hasn't arrived yet. Um, I know it got hung up for a little bit in the post office. They still can't give me a good reason why. Um, but I don't want to wait any longer on you getting that. So I'm going to recreate it um, probably tonight after my live and try to get it into the mail to you either tomorrow or Thursday. Um, and I'm actually going to put um, the tracker on it so that I know that you, um, that you get it. Hey, Lisa, welcome. All right, you guys, as you're coming in, if you will say hello, and also if you will comment where you're watching from. Also, if this is your first time catching us live and you, somebody must have liked it a lot. <laughs> I guess so. I don't know. I, I need to learn my lesson. When I send things without a tracker on it, without the, um, the tracking number, I have things get lost. But if I put the tracking number on it, if I pay a little bit extra and put this track, tracking number on it, it gets to them when it says it does. I've had people buy stuff from Macari from me and I didn't put a tracking number on it and almost 
refused to pay because they said they didn't get it, but I don't know. So I'm just going to start putting trackers on everything. That way I know I can just track it and make sure that the people that are supposed to get things are supposed to get things. Um, so anyhow, if, if you do not know who I am, my name is Michelle Fox and I am the owner of Foxy Chick Designs. I am also an innovator with Magnolia Design Company. And if you don't know what Magnolia Design Company is, we are a DIY company that sells self-adhesive silk screen stencils, chalk paste to create with them, as well as inks and surfaces. Everything that you need to create your own home decor with your style and your budget. Um, so if this is your first time catching us, if you will comment with a number one. If you have caught us before and you are some of our regulars, if you would comment with a number two. And if you are a fabulous Magnolia Design Company creator and you are just joining in for some inspiration and some fun, if you'll comment with a number three. All right, so first things I wanted to say before um, we get started tonight, I wanted to let you know that I do still have, hey Sharon, welcome, hey Lisa, welcome. Just wanted to show you guys, I do have, for those of you that are new or you, you've not tried any of our products, I have a Try Me kit and it comes with a little, I think these are three by three stencils and the, the stencil will vary they won't all be Christmas. Um, I've got a bunch of different ones. I've got some for spring, for summer, some Halloween ones that I use for these. So you get a three by three stencil. You get a chalk circle like this. You get a stir stick. You get a small squeegee and you get a little, you know what, let me pull this out. You get a little container like this full of chalk paste. And those are, I have probably 18 of those left that I have created up. And if you are interested in trying out the Magnolia Design Company products, and you would like to try one of those out just to give it a shot, um, to see what you think of the products, see what you think, um, of their durability and what you can create with them. If you will comment sample in the comments, I will reach out to you personally, get your information, and I will get one of these into the mail to you. I, I want you to know how much fun it is to create with these products. You guys see me create every Tuesday and Thursday night with them. You, you join in, you like what you see, but I want you to try it for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Get one of those sample kits, try them out, and then come back and tell me what you think. So if you are interested in one of those sample kits, if you will comment sample in the comments, then I will reach out to you, get your information, and get one sent out to you. Um, just for commenting sample, because I really want you guys to try these out. You will be hooked, you will love it. I love what I can create for my friends and family, for gifts, for projects, for my own home. Um, I, I love being to be able to create something that is meaningful and handmade for those that I love. And I want you to be able to sample that as well and to see what you think before you put a big investment or to buy, buy bigger stencils or um, chalk paste or things like that. I want you to be able to see if you like it just in a little sample kit. All right, so tonight we're going to use our, let's see, this is us. This is a 12 by 18 stencil. We're going to just use this welcome right here. It says, welcome to our porch, sit long, talk much, love often. Um, and then the other part of that stencil says, this is us our life, our story, our home. But I just want to use this cute little welcome. And we are going to use also our brand new honeycomb pattern um, background stencil. So those are the two things that we're, we're going to use. We're also going to use just this little piece of chalkboard that I have. And we're going to use a 
um, Pete's pan. Uh-oh. I had taken all of my stuff crafting with me over the weekend, and I don't know if I have everything back in here. So you may have to bear with me a minute till I find all of my stuff. I need to grab a paintbrush. grab a paintbrush because we are going to paint this lovely little hey Verly welcome Verly I will be in class on Sunday I know you said you wanted to talk to me um I will be in class on Sunday all right um we are going to use some Waverly Inspirations chalk paint in the color cashew and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and flip you guys down so that you can see um, exactly what we're doing and you'll be able to watch the project and have some fun with us so I'm gonna go ahead and flip you guys down uh, la, 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 la. well maybe I am they keep changing all this stuff and it makes me crazy all right there we go so oh let me get all of this stuff out of the way. All right. Uh, there we go. Sharon, I don't know if I said hello to you. Hey, Sharon. Um, okay. So I'm going to go ahead. Ugh. Maybe I'm going to get this off. Goodness gracious. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to dump some paint out here. Whoop. Alright, don't think I'm going to need any more of that, but you never know. And then I'm going to just take a paintbrush that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to just go around the edge here, get this all painted up. painting myself now. <laughs> oh well. Just get this all painted up. Ugh. Have drips down around the edge. moving some of this paint around making sure that I've got everything covered all right so now we have this all done so I'm just kind of smoothing it out a little bit all right Go ahead and put my lid back on my my paint. Set my paint off to the side, and I'm gonna plug in my heat tool, and I'm gonna get this dried up.
because we're going to stencil on this. So I want to make sure that this is all nice and dry. Should have just left it. Oh well. Just so you guys know as well, we have some brand new stencils that are going to be going live tomorrow on my website. And once I get that order in, I will be showing you some brand new stuff. And if you're watching and there's something in particular you would like to see me craft either on or with or um, a particular stencil from Magnolia Design Company, if you will just comment on this live and tell me what you want to see. Um, if it's something that I can do, I am willing to give it a shot. I mean, if it's something I've never done, I'm willing to try it out. If it's something that I know I can do and can do well, I have no problem showing you um, different techniques, different um, stencils, different surfaces. Because um, basically, I'm here for you guys. I am here to, I want you guys to be able to see what you're wanting to see. Like, I want you to see what you're looking for. Um, if you're looking for something in particular, or you're look, you're redecorating, and you're wanting to see something um, in that particular decor, then please just comment, and I will be happy to give it a shot. Can't say it's going to turn out perfect, because anybody that's watched me long enough knows that very rarely does that happen. Very rarely do I have perfect projects. Very, very rarely do I have perfect projects. I did get some new stencils in the other day, and I don't think I did a live with them. Because I think I was packing them to go out of town. So maybe tomorrow night I will hop on live quick and show you some of those new ones that I got. There's one that says if my face doesn't, if, if I don't say it, my face definitely will. Or if it doesn't come out of my mouth, my face, I don't remember. It's something about if, if it doesn't come out of my mouth, my face will, will definitely show it or something like that. It's it's super cute. Let's see. I'm all dry here. Uh, just want to make sure here I don't really want to pop up any um really do not want to have any of the paint pull up. Alright, I think we might be good here. Alright that off to the side and then what I'm going to do oh goodness I've got all kinds of paint on the back here 
Alright, I am going to sit. Oh goodness, did I do that again? Um, uh, oh well. We are going. I'm going to sit this off to the side and let this kind of cool off a little bit. And I'm going to pull in our little piece of chalkboard. And I'm going to open up, I'm going to open up our This Is Us and pull out the welcome. And see, the welcome says welcome to our porch or it would say welcome to our home. Um, you can use either one. So I am going to pull. And like I said, when I first started, our stencils are silk screen self-adhesived stencils that can be used over and over and over again. They can be cleaned up with just some cool water. And so I am going to mark on the back of my stencil the word welcome. Actually, welcome to our porch. Okay. And that way I know which side the stencil goes back on. So I'm just going to roll down my stencil to the middle and I'm just going to work my stencil up and I'm going to set the backer sheet off to the side because we will use that once our stencil is all nice and clean. So then I'm just going to put our, uh -oh. this fit? Oops, tell me this will fit. I don't know. We're going to have to kind of slant this, I think, a little bit. So, I'm going to spread this out a little bit. And I am going to angle it just a little bit, just so that our W fits. As our W comes right to there and the L goes right there if I don't angle it. And I'm going to grab a little bit of our white chalk paste and I'm going to grab a stir stick and I'm going to try and give this a stir. This might be past its might be past being able to be fixed but because I put a lot of water in here so I'm going to see what's here if I can get it stirred up nope I'm going to make a mess of myself so we're just going to put the lid back on this and we're going to get out our new jar of white. That's if I can find it here quick. Oh, it's right in front of me. Okay. So we have a new jar of white. So we're just going to go ahead and open this up. And we're going to give it a good stir. Because I like my chalk paste to be the consistency of yogurt or frosting in a can. Hey, all you home cracker, how can I use you? <laughs> oh my goodness. That's my husband, by the way. He's not some creeper, I promise. likes to hop on and watch me craft 
and I I like him too because he supports he has just been a great support through all of this so I just put some white chalk paste down and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just gently drag the paste across the silk screened areas and I'm going to be very careful not to get the other words other than the welcome that I want. So be very, very careful. And if you're afraid you're going to get the other letters, you can always put painter's tape down so that you know you're not going to. Or if you do happen to get a little bit, you can always wipe it off. No biggie. So now I'm just going back over and I'm squeegeeing up all the extra chalk paste and putting it back into my jar because it can be used again. I'm just going back over this just very, very gently, making sure all of the silk screened areas are covered. I'm going to go ahead and put that there. And then I'm just going to take this very gently and walk it across the board. And there you go. There is our welcome. And I'm going to just set this off to the side so I can clean that up. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dry it quick. dry and so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close up my white because I am all done with it and I know me if I do not close up my jars I will stick a finger in it I will stick a project in it you just never know what will get stuck in it all right and now I have some of our shimmer gold so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sit our welcome sign. Uh, I'm going to sit this over here. And I'm going to bring back in our, our Pete's pan. And I'm going to grab our beehive. And I am going to grab a terry cloth towel to do some fuzzing because this is a brand new stencil and I don't really want to ruin it so I want to fuzz it so again I am gonna mark on the back of my stencil I'm gonna mark the word honeycomb and that way I will know. And so what I'm going to do here first is I'm going to peel down some of this stencil because this is a big stencil. So I'm going to just pull down some of this because I don't think I'm going to need all of it. I don't think I'm going to end up using all of it. All right. 
So you can hear how sticky it is. So then I'm going to just lay my towel down over and I'm going to pull it up because so I just want to get a little bit of fuzz on my stencil so that it loses some of its stickiness. Because if I don't, when I put it on the pizza pan, it's going to really stick and it's going to peel up some of the paint. And we have a tacky towel and I'm not exactly sure where my tacky towel is. I know I packed it to take with me, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't think it's back here yet. Okay, I'm going to do this probably one or two more times. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... If you don't have a tacky towel or anything like that, you can always fold it up on you and just peel off. Just so you get just a little bit of lint and fuzz on the stencil. Okay, and I think we're good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take our pizza pan and I think I just want to do half. So I'm going to go ahead and smooth this out. all out. And actually, I'm going to lift this up a little bit so that I can go ahead and get this all in as well. And then I'm going to just stick that back down there. All right, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to chalk just inside here. So I'm going to grab some of our, our yellow here, and I'm going to grab my white stir stick because white won't hurt it at all. I'm going to go ahead and get this all stirred up. What's up, Phil? My Shih Tzu just came in. She doesn't like the camera, but she loves if to be in here when I'm crafting. Do not ask me why. What's up, boo, boo Okay. So now I'm just going to put some of this down. Lily. Come on, settle, baby. Alright. And I'm going to grab my white squeegee again because like I said, my white squeegee, won't, it won't hurt it. Just going to go over all of these cute little honeycombs with this chalk paste, and then I'm going to pull up any excess and put it back in the jar. Just like so. We'll see how this looks. All right. So here we go. Moment of truth. 
All right, so I'm going to very gently lift off the stencil. I'm going to kind of work my way across. I am going to try to be very, very careful and not peel off any of the paint. I can't guarantee that that's not going to happen, but we shall see. I'm just kind of walking across to the middle here. I do want to be careful pulling this up because I don't want to I don't want to stretch my stencil either. So I'm kind of doing a no-no. I usually say don't pull from the corners, so I'm going to try not to do that. All right. I'm going to try to hurry up and get this up so it doesn't dry and peel up. There is our cute little pan. All right, I need to make sure that this is not sticking together. So I'm gonna make sure that that's all pulled off. And I'm just gonna lay this down on the backer sheet until I can clean it. Go ahead and lay that off to the side, and I will clean that after our live. But here is our cute. Oh, I kind of like that a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this dry. up my yellow I get all this start off this edges here so I don't want that all getting hard and nasty but if you take really good care of your paste your paste can last you a long time some of my paste I've had the entire six months well I had I had gotten from my Let's see, my Get Started Kit, and my gets, I got my Get Started Kit over a year ago. So, that'll tell you, you know, how long some of those pastes have lasted me. Some of them didn't even get a chance to last me that long because I used them so much. Alright. So, I think I'm going to do... I'm going to do this. Uh, no, I'm going to put it down here a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on, on my glue gun and I'm going to take a little Jenga block and put it right in the center. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue um, the rest of this. So I'm going to go ahead and let my glue gun heat up, and I think I'm going to, do I want to do, do I want don't know what I want to do. 
I'm so indecisive when it comes to crafting you. Know, it's it's never it's never good. I think I think I think think. I'm going to hmm. I don't I do not have all of my crafts back my crafting stuff back here in my craft area and it's kind of making me crazy because I can't find what I want I know what I want to do but I don't know if I've got the stuff back here to do it I'm going to grab some of my nautical rope here and I think I'm going to go around. I am. And I think I've got enough here that I can go around. I think I can go all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start it here. I just want to make sure that I can go all the way around. I'm sure I can. going to kind of lay this down here and I'm going to go ahead and cut this off and we are going to hot glue this around the top here and then we are going to lay this guy across like so and then we are going to put a hanger on here and i think we're going to call this good i do i think we're going to call this project done just waiting on my glue gun because I didn't plug it in when I started tonight, which I should have. But I do want to let you know about the Get Started Kit. We do have a new one that has released. It is $69 and you get over $200 worth of product. You get chalk paste, you get surfaces, you get stencils, and all for $69 and you do not have to build a team at all to join my team you can be just a crafter and you would like to take advantage of the um 35 percent discount that we get as a creator if you are interested to learn more about the get started kit or you have questions about what magnolia is or what you have to do or there are no monthly court minimums there are no quarterly minimums all you pay is a ten dollar 99 cent fee for your website which you get to order from or you can give it to friends and family and they can place an order if if you so choose to do that um i know i've got people on my team that are just crafters they are hobbyists. They went and grabbed the Get Started Kit for $69 just so that they can craft at a 35% discount. And that is totally fine. If you have questions or you'd like to know more about Magnolia or the Get Started Kit, if you will comment team in the comments, I will reach out to you personally and set up a time with you that we can talk. You know, I'm, I'm not trying to get anybody to join my team to benefit me. I just know how much I love having the ability to create really cool gifts for my friends. And, you know, cool gifts for um, family, for the, you know, for holidays. Or I do sell my products, uh, my finished stuff. I do sell them. Um, I do that at a vendor event. Well, I've got several of them that I try to get into during the year. And so I do sell my finished products at those vendor events. But if that's something that you choose not to do, you don't have to. You can grab the Get Started Kit for $69 and that's it. 
and just enjoy crafting on your own. Um, so like I said, if you are if you are interested in that and you'd like to know more about Magnolia or about the Get Started Kit, please comment Kit in the comments and I will reach out to you and try to answer any questions that you may have. If you have a question that I can't answer, I will get you to somebody who can or I will find an answer for you. Um, I don't like to mislead anybody. I don't want you to think that um, it's something that it's not. I love being able to, you know, craft fun projects. I have made several friends from this journey and I, some of the people that are watching tonight, Mary, I didn't, I didn't know her before Magnolia. Um, Roxy, I didn't know her before Magnolia. And these are people that I've never met in real life, but they're people that watch my lives pretty much every time I go live. Um, Mary Hartman, she watches me live every time that I go live. She usually sneaks in at some point, whether she catches me from the beginning or she catches me towards the end, she is there. Um, but you just, you make friends of a lifetime it, on this journey and like I said you don't have to you don't have to build a team you don't have to sell you don't have to do any of that if you just want to be able to create pretty things and you want to be able to do it at a discount just comment team and I will reach out to you all right all that babbling now that my hot glue gun is ready to go we're going to get this party started so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to grab my little pink finger guy here and I'm going to start here and I'm going to just press this down. <coughs> oh, sorry y'all. And we're just going to work our way around here. As you hear my dog snore. So sorry about that. She's literally laying right here at my feet. Like, here's my desk, and she's laying like right next to me, like over here. Like just right here on my on the floor next to me. Because like I said, she does not like she does not like to be in the camera. If I were to pick her up, she would pretty much try to hide from you all but she has to be back here with me when I'm crafting. She is such a crazy dog. She is a crazy dog. Alright, get another glue stick in here. Did anybody else have trouble getting up and going to work this morning? <laughs> I know I did not want to, especially after having yesterday off. I so did not. like little spider webs from the hot glue. That'll drive you nuts. Alright. So we're just gonna lay this down in here just like so.
just like that. And then I'm going to hop in here with my scissors and I'm going to try to cut this. There we go. And then I'm going to just use some hot glue in here to kind of glue these guys down. I know probably on camera you guys aren't seeing the the little honeycombs, but there, I'll pull it up so you guys can see it a little bit. So there's the little honeycomb there at the bottom. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this cute little piece over here. And I'm going to put some hot glue down. I'm going to stick this guy right in the middle. And then I'm going to put this guy down right there. So and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some hot glue again on the other side of this um, Django block. I'm going to put a new glue stick in. And then I'm going to put a little bit of glue there, a little bit of glue there. I'm just going to do the four corners. And then I'm going to decide where I want this. And I'm just going to put it down right there. And I'm just going to push down and make sure that it sticks. Hey, Brenda, welcome. Hey, girl. How are you? Hey, Virginia, welcome. Oh, that's okay, Brenda. I was late getting started, so you are good. Thanks for popping on. I appreciate it. Hey, I'll take late than never. But don't feel, don't worry about it. I was late to the party myself. I didn't get started. Usually I go live at 7, and I didn't go live until 7, 10, 15, something like that. So I'm just happy for anybody that popped in. Okay, so there's that, and you can see that it's, um, we just used the little jingle block in the center there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, just so that it has a support in the middle. So Brenda, just to catch you up, what we did is we painted a pizza pan with some cashew Waverly chalk paint. And then we used the honeycomb stencil from Magnolia Design Company to do the bottom here. Then we used some nautical rope to go around the edge. We used our This Is Us stencil from Magnolia to do the welcome. And we used some white, bright white chalk paste for that. And now you're caught up. That's, this is what we've used so far. And so then we put this down across the bottom and now we just need to do a hanger and we need to do a bow but let me see here let me I crafted over the weekend so all of my stuff is not where it once was so I just need to get up and grab ribbon so we can decide what kind of oh, sorry y'all I know I'm a mess tonight and I apologize oh thank you I appreciate it um let's see what ribbon do I want to use for a bow alright let's see here I think we're going to use some 
of this polka dot. I keep all my ribbons in bags like this. So I'm going to grab, let's see, I'm going to grab just a couple pieces. We're going to use this, and I think we're going to use, I'm going to pull out some of my twine. Hmm. I think, I think, I think, I think. Hmm. Not quite sure what I think. I'm going to pull out this twine now instead. here. We're going to use some of this. And some of that. And we'll use some of this gold. And I think some of this pink. use some just plain old burlap. So we're just going to kind of play around with this a little bit. So we're going to start with the red gingham and we're going to go crisscross there, crisscross there, crisscross there, um, and we're going to actually, I think we're going to start with this. Scratch that. Ugh. Crazy, crazy stuff. Come up on my computer. Okay. So we're going to do this. And 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 then we're going to do that. 
really know. And then we're going to come back in with some more burlap. And then we're going to go with this. And then this. So this is kind of the mess we got going on here. So I'm going to go ahead and go right through here. And I'm going to kind of grab all of this and flip it. And lay it all back down. And then I'm going to just grab my string and I'm going to pull as tight as I can. Just like so. And while I have it tight, I'm going to make another knot. And I'm going to try and pull it as tight as I can again. And then I'm going to flip over to the front side here. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to grab. Okay. And then I'm going to just come back here to the back and I'm going to kind of flip this all out like so. Just like so. And I'm going to actually go back. Actually, no. And what I'm going to do now, I don't have one here. Nuts. Nuts, nuts, nuts. I want to do one of my little wooden beads, but that's okay. So, oh, I missed a whole piece. Oh, well. Oh, you know what? doesn't look right. Ah, uh, we'll just save that piece for another day. For another day. Okay, so we're going to bring our little piece back in here. And I think we're going to sit this right here. What do you guys think? Whoa! <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Just about fell off my chair. Alright, what do you guys think of the bow? Yes, no, maybe so. Before I glue it on. What do you guys think? Okay. Thanks, Brenda. Alright, so I'm trying to cut another piece of rope here for the backer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little guy here and I'm going to put a whole bunch of hot glue back here on the bow. And I'm going to just stick this. I'm going to pull this up like this. <gasps> ow, 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 ow. Okay, burnt my finger. Burnt my finger. Totally burnt my finger. Whew, okay. Ooh, it ran. That's what the problem is. I couldn't figure out why I was burning my fingers. Man. Okay. So we're going to just stick this right there. Holy cow. I did. Totally burnt my fingers. <laughs> oh, wow, you guys. My hot glue ran. And I burnt my fingers. Oh, this is not going to be good. So now I've got to peel this off. Whew. Wow. That, that, that was serious right there. So sorry, y'all. Okay, now I'm just trying to get this 
back off my fingers. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Well, we have officially burnt the fingers. They're really stinging. Like I said, you never know what's going to happen when you're crafting with Michelle. You just don't know. Oh, wow. That, oh man, those, it hurts. Whew. Well, that's just what happens. Okay. All right. So there's, there's that. Okay. So now we're going to flip this over and we're going to try to put the, I'm going to, I'm going to try to put a hanger on you guys. I, I need to get my fingers taken care of my, I really burnt my fingers y'all. Um, so I'm going to just go over here and I'm going to put a line here, a line here. Mm, 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 mm. And I'm going to sit that there and that there. Mm. Oh. Sorry, y'all. I'm I'm kind of baby in the fingers. I I I burnt them really bad. Sorry, guys. Sorry, you're hearing dogs bark. Sorry you're hearing me complain. I, I'm usually really good with hot glue tonight, not so much. If you guys wouldn't mind praying for my fingers because they're starting to blister. I, I really did hurt my fingers bad. So then I'm just kind of putting those guys in like so. I'm trying to get the hot glue off my fingers. I probably shouldn't do that, but anyhow. So there's the hanger and there is our cute little welcome honeycomb project for tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'm going to pull you guys back up to me. I'm going to flip this back on its side because I want that to be able to dry. All right. So an eventful night. What can I say? Um, I'm going to go take care of my fingers and hopefully I can get them to stop burning. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your night. I am hoping that I will be able to see you guys on Thursday night um, with another fun project from Magnolia Design Company. Um, I will keep you posted on the fingers. Um, but I'm going to go take care of them. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful night. Bye.